Our spells can beat the law. Obia practitioners say proposed fines won't affect them. Bless up, peeps. This is Steven on the building. And have I got a story for y'all? Yes, I have got a story for my people. Now, this story is about some Obia people where you know, them said them can beat the law because we all know some new fines that come in a parliament where them said them are going to find, you know, the other practitioners, them a lot more money. Because at one point, them either say, yo, if they catch you, I practice obia, a hundred dollar that. You see what I say, or 12 months in a prison, and hundred dollar or nothing. You see what I say, but the law that it set back in that time when hundred dollar is a whole heap of money. Now things change up and thing, and then put the fine we are we up, I think, are over a million dollar now or something like that. So I'm going to get into the story and make sure know exactly what going on. The story is taken from the Jamaica Star. Big up on yourself, Star. Don't know the thing already. Yeah. Even though a hefty increase in fine for persons accused of practicing obia was proposed in Parliament recently, the practitioners say they are not worried. When the Jamaica Star spoke with Mama Dor, a St. Catherine-based reader woman, she said that she strongly believed that those practitioners who are very knowledgeable in their field will not be affected by the $1 million proposed fine. <laughs> you hear that? $1 million. According to the Obia Act in 1898, persons accused of practicing Obia or witchcraft could be fined up to $100 or imprisoned for up to 12 months. Even if them get the green light on the proposition, I am one reader woman who is not gonna fret because I have my spell to block that. People really don't know how powerful we are, and those who do just try to come with ways to stop us from helping others. But that naga work, trust me, star. Some of us will never pay the fine if we go court. I believe in fighting fire with fire, she said. When asked how she would protect herself if she is caught in the act by law enforcement, she said, Me is a black, black woman, but me can tell you, say, when me go before the judge, the police now go can identify me because me we transform in a Chinaman pan them. Them know who them are ramp with. Meanwhile, another Obia man who goes by the name of Soul Searcher also blasted a new proposition stating that the government is simply seeking to abolish a healing practice that has been around for centuries. Foolishness this, because if they want to charge big bucks, if them fine we are practice Obia, me hope them charge the Indian people them who are call it astrology, them come in our country and, and advertise them service in the media and we can't even put up a sign outside we gate, he said to the star. If them are gonna find we, them need for all find the church them too, because enough of them, them in a rituals too. This is a big bag of rubbish, and me not pay no government no money to do my job. Because like the lawyers and doctors, we serve and protect our country too, he said. And there ended the reading. Off the Jamaica Star on this weird ass story. Strange story, people. It's a story that just boom, mind blowing. You understand? Because these people are certain that they can use magic and make things happen. So, you know, it come to mind, me I wonder to myself, you know, I'm just here sitting down and I said to myself, so if them can do all of that, why charge people for the obia? When, if you can't do that, why, you know, just win the lotto? You know, I'm just saying, I mean, I would do that if I could do those magic stuff that they say. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, Jamaica update them laws and think of them. I say, yeah, one million dollar fine. Them catch you do hocus pocus, voodoo, block magic. Or if you are a witch or if you are a, a reader man or a reader woman, they're going to read you your rights. <laughs> And that's funny as that sounds, people. <laughs> that them said I'm gonna do, and that's how the story goes. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw the thing said. You see me? I said, well, if the things are going on, I tell the people that, boy, it's sticky out there, crazy out there, I'll be your things are going out there. So I'm gonna say right now, just keep safe and um, keep on your head, on the body. Well, good. 
Yeah, man. Bless up on yourself. If you don't know this year, Stevie, this world for like, share, and for the new viewers, them, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Bless up. I'm out.